Just to give a regional HPV vaccine programs overview, and to talk about something different from tuberculosis, talk about sexually transmitted infections. Every day, nearly one million STIs are acquired every day worldwide, and I hope no one is acquiring STIs in this conference. Each year, 357 million new infections occur, and these are mainly chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, trichomonas vaginalis, but I want to point you to the last one, uh, that 290 million women have HPV infection. So these are just the different um, H, um, STIs, but we know that to prevent STIs typically is to use uh, protection. There are global strategies by WHO that have been uh, considered, including in May 2018, when the Director General announced a global call for action to eliminate cervical cancer. And there was underscoring of political will to make elimination a reality. In August 2020, the World Health Assembly adopted a global strategy for cervical cancer elimination. And now is the time to eliminate cervical cancer as a public health prob uh, problem. So I'll quickly take you through the um, scale-up of HPV vaccination in Africa, the progress and the trends. And we know that HPV vaccine has been introduced in Africa, but has also been introduced in the rest of the world. So the global strategy towards elimination of cervical cancer includes a vision that looks at a world without cervical cancer. The threshold is that all countries should reach less than four cases per 100,000 women by 2030. And as we've seen the 95-95 strategy, you're going to hear a lot about the 90-70-90 strategy. Um, so this is a reflection of all the countries in Africa that have started the national immunization program. The one where you have the dark green um, means yes, it has been introduced, and the lighter green is partial introduction. For the much lighter green, there is no introduction at all, which if you a visual like me, you'll appreciate that two-thirds of the African countries have not introduced HPV. We know that it's mostly the Gavi eligible countries that are um, advancing rapidly to introduce HPV vaccination. But for the non-Gavi and the transitioned middle-income countries, there's less rapid introduction. So these are just data borrowed from slides from the WHO, and I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Fiona Atewe, who shared these slides with me, showing that during the COVID-19 pandemic, there was a great decline in the scale-up of HPV vaccination. And the trend population-adjusted coverage in the African countries, if you look closely, um, there was a rapid scale-up in Ethiopia, Seychelles, Tanzania, Mauritius, Kenya, Liberia. But in 2021, there was a much decline, especially because of COVID-19. And this happened throughout the whole continent. So there are countries that have introduced a multi-age cohort. When Gavi gives vaccines, it is 10 to 13 years, but they do catch up for those up to 26 years. And there are five countries that have introduced a multi-age cohort, including Gambia, Cabo de Verde, Zimbabwe, and Rwanda. And then in 2022, other countries followed on. We hope that Nigeria, which has a potential 6 million girls to be vaccinated, will also be able to catch on very soon, as well as Togo and Mali. So I'm not going to bother you going through this particular slide, 
but there's been technical support from the WHO to support countries. And if you're in that category of countries that has not introduced HPV vaccination, please access and address your gaps. So just to conclude, the target for 90% of the girls to be vaccinated by the age of 15 years in 2030 is still slow for Africa. Only 24 African region countries have introduced HPV vaccine in their national program. I come from Uganda and we introduced HPV vaccination in 2015 as a national program. But there's lots of misconceptions that prevent scale up to the whole population that needs to be covered. The coverage in the African HPV program declined strongly due to uh, the COVID-19 like HPV fell off the table because everyone was worried, concerned about COVID-19. So there's urgent action that is required to improve HPV vaccine coverage and vaccinate the missed cohort of girls. Gavi has supported um, delayed multi-age cohorts and will continue to provide starting with coverage improvement and even to reach the missed uh, cohorts. There's been a Gavi HPV relaunch strategy, and we all need to take advantage of that. And obviously with all the demands, COVID, malaria, TB, the Afro region is currently not fit for purpose to respond to all the requested additional support, but we keep hopeful. So I'd like to say thank you. This was just to notify all of you that HPV vaccination is in some national programs, but not in all of them. And we need, as a continent, to scale up on reaching every single girl.